In this episode, I want to show you a cool new Rails gem for authentication. Um, I really like the premise of this gem because rather than uh, opting you into a lot of code, it's basically a code generator and uh, generates all of the controllers and views and all of that directly inside your application, which is awesome. So to start, we'll add the authentication zero gem to our gem file. And then we can go ahead and we can uh, generate this. Um, there are a bunch of options here for additional add-ons, which is really cool. So you can pass uh, flags to it and basically get API token authentication. You can get two-factor auth, um, social sign-in, all of that kind of stuff. So that is really cool. Um, we're just going to go ahead with the basics here and generate the standard version. Um, and then we'll go ahead, we'll run bundle again because uh, it can add other gems for different packages and stuff. I don't think the standard one does that um, other than Bcrypt actually. Um, but uh, two-factor will add different gems and things like that. Um, we can then run bin dev to start up our Rails app. And uh, let's run this. So we've got migrations are pending. So we'll click run migrations. And then as you can see, we're thrown out to a sign in screen. So we can go ahead and sign up. And so we'll put in pete at rapidruby.com. And then we can go ahead and click sign up. And so you'll see now we've signed up successfully. Um, we then get these other things built in. So we've got change email address where we can go in. There's email verifications too. So we'll send out an email to uh, verify that. Um, we can resend that, change our email address. Um, we can change the password. Um, we can go into devices and sessions. Um, we can log out of sessions on other devices, which is really cool. So um, this basically works by generating a whole bunch of code. So if I open up a fresh terminal here and we do get status, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff generated. So um, we basically have controllers for all this stuff. Um, so like sessions controller is for logging in. You'll see all of the code, how it uses everything. I really like that it uses the new current uh, class that was introduced recently. So you can access current dot user in models and things like that as well, which is cool. Um, and I think it's just really cool to see um, all of the code, be able to customize it and own it and not have to worry about um, being stuck to a certain feature set or any of that. Uh, emails and all that as well are uh, built in so you can easily customize every single part of that. And the other thing that is really cool is it generates a load of tests for you. So you can run bin rails test and basically know that all of your authentication logic is nicely tested. It also means if you're adding stuff, so say you want to go and uh, edit the migrations for the user table, for instance, and add first name, last name, and all of that, and make sure those are required, you can then just go into the tests and find the controller sessions, and then, uh, or sorry, registrations, and then you can basically change that test. If you add first name and last name, that's gonna fail. Um, so you can go into this test and add first name uh, and last name to the test and then make that pass. So um, that's all really quick intro. Um, it's just think that's a really cool gem. And I think I am going to start using that going forward instead of device. So um, hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, uh, please toss a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Cheers.